I just wanted to tell you something funny that happened. Um, as you know, my friends play beach volleyball, and some of them are Olympians. Oh, a couple weeks ago, there was this post that my friend posted that was funny. Um, basically, it said, "Oh, I'm, I'm. You're getting married. I'm getting married in a few weeks, and to." Um, invite a husband for me and I'll have to find it again so I can read it to you because it's funnier than the summary. Well, anywho, <laughs> my friend comes up to me when she sees me. She goes, oh, you got married recently? Congratulations. And I said, oh, no, it was a prank. <laughs> and she's like, oh, she was really embarrassed. Anywho. What I'm showing you right now is the money that I've made recently for recycling. I, I like to like walk around and find cans and bottles and recycle. So it's kind of like a trifecta. You're making money, you're walking, and you're doing something good for the environment. You know, not, not everybody will do this, but you know, there's some people that that do this for extra income. And I remember a couple years ago that there was a mom and a dad who put their son through college by doing that. And they would do that all day and all night just to get him to college. So that I think that says a lot about um, how important it is to have a work ethic where you're going to do whatever it takes for yourself or your family or whatever. So, especially in this economy, every little dollar helps. A couple months ago, actually, <coughs> excuse me, there was actually some kids who had a party near where I lived and they had like three bags full of recycling bottles, and cans and water bottles, what have you, from their party. So I took it to uh, get recycled, you know, and I spent probably like half an hour between being there and whatever. So I ended up getting $10 that day. And so I basically got a free in and out uh, meal from them. So you never know. I guess I could have saved it and get silver, but see what you see in front of me, you probably could get some silver. Like either an ounce of silver or a lot of like 90% or even Canadian 80%. Depends on where you are. So there's opportunities to make money out there. You just have to seize it and and, and take whatever you can get and find ways to, to make money. And either save it for a rainy day, which this is probably just like couple weeks worth for me so I'm just trying to save every penny that I can right now I'm not buying any silver I'm actually selling it but anywho I just want to tell you that there's a couple shows coming up there's the North County um, coin show in Anaheim on August uh, 7th there's the ANA show that's also in early August um, there's like two shows that weekend besides the North County show. I, I don't remember the name of the other show, but I know uh, Coin Couch is going to go to the ANA show. So I wanted to know who else is going to go to that show. Then at the end of the month for August, there's a show in California that I go to um, occasionally. That's one of the ones where I win gold coins and silver. Um, <laughs> I know Coin Keeper is probably going to be like, what? <laughs> another show? Yes, that's another show that I go to. Um, that's the one where I've won uh, a two and a half dos peso, a dos peso, a cinco peso, a tenth ounce maple, a 20 ounce maple and another 20 ounce maple. Um, I'll give you the info for that. Um, 
Some of you guys probably already know that show, but you just buy tickets for the silver drawing and the gold drawing, and you can try to win. So that's the end of August. So let me know if you're going to go to any of those shows that I mentioned. Have a great weekend. Bye.